What's up, everyone? It's your Uncle 79, the Spiritual Savage, here to bring you a good night message. I know I need to shave. It is currently um, 7.50 p.m. on January 21st, 2024. It's 19 degrees Fahrenheit and cloudy in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yeah, it is. Oh, my God. My allergies are really bothering me. But we'll get through it. Let's give some thanks to my dad, the Most High, for bringing us here uh, to commune and be divine together for this wonderful evening. I hope everybody had a wonderful day. Um, I hope uh, you have a wonderful night. Oh, sweet dreams, everybody. I'm just going to tell you that before I forget. But um, yeah, thanks, Dad. You're awesome. I appreciate everything that you do for me and the collective. And um, we won't disappoint you. You feel me? Um, what's up, baby? What's up, Soul Family? Let's get to this. This cat been talking all damn day. I'm trying to take my my um my uh, settings on the side are not there. I had to reset my laptop. A little hacky shit was going on. But outside of that, um I was thinking about a couple of different things. Um you know if you have somebody uh that you're that you're with <laughs> if you have somebody that you are um dealing with and they're a, a nice person, stick in there with that person. You know, a lot of times what people will do is the, uh, you know, people who like nice and shiny things or are, are mainly a, a, a confirmation after confirmation. Uh, these, you know, people about what the fuck is going on? Come here. What's wrong, baby? What's wrong, boy? Okay. But, you know, people that are about status and, uh, you know, wanting to always have, you know, the best, uh, always never, never satisfied. People are never satisfied. Um, you know, they, they'll, they'll walk away from you thinking that they can, you know, they see something better. They can get something better without giving you time. You know, nobody, nobody is perfect right off the bat. Nobody's ever going to be perfect, but sometimes it takes people, um, time to kind of, uh, come into their, come into who they are. It's just like puberty. You know, uh, when you're I, when I was like 11 to 12, I was kind of, I was kind of weird and awkward and fucking ugly. You know, when it took a couple of years for me to kind of be this hunk you see now. You feel me? Okay. But no, and I, you know, it, it, it's not even that. Sometimes, you know, it takes a good person to be with another good person for to, for, for both of them to kind of succeed or move forward or to, or to grow. Um, and so sometimes, you know, people jump to jump, jump away from people because they, you know, maybe a late bloomer or, you know, maybe needed some type of a different, some type of encouragement to make sure that, you know, that everybody was, you know, headed in the right direction. Um, the thing about these days, though, is that people are really kind of kind of quick to jump ship. You know, back in the day, it seemed like people stayed together and not to say that they, that was always the good, you know, they was just together for the kids or the money. But what it seemed like is that there seemed to be more of a camaraderie back then. Like when my grandparents were together, you know, they there was more of a com they were working together to achieve certain things. And nowadays people just walk away from people. Uh, because they think something is better or they see a better opportunity for better um, and, and just throw away everything that they probably, they probably didn't put shit in the relationship anyways. So they nine times out of ten are leaving behind somebody that was working towards a foundation uh, when this person was just working uh, for the temporary foundation and that's kind of fucked up. So I just would say if you if you find somebody who's nice and you guys get along and you love that person, they love you and you know they could use a little bit of uh, improvement in areas we all can, but sometimes, you know, there's always, there could always be one person in the relationship that's more stable, that has more experience in things, maybe more knowledgeable on how to navigate life. You shouldn't abandon a good person because they, they may lack, they may have uh, some, you know, may lack in those areas. Your, 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 your mission, part of your mission, part of your job to come when you came to this earth, part of your journey is to help that person. I would say so. Not to say that you even got to even stay in a relationship with that person, but we're here to share with each other what we know and what we learn uh, so that we can all grow. You know what I'm saying? So you know, like I say, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow. We grow together. And so, yeah, because one day what will happen is that you, you're you going to look back and go, wait a minute, I that's I left that motherfucker alone? Damn, I might need to, no, 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 okay? They did all that work by themselves, oh, not by themselves, but without your ass. <laughs> you feel me? Take that energy as it resonates. And, and you know and people continue to be good to people just you know be be very careful with your energy you know still help people still encourage people still work with people but be careful about how you're uh, distributing your energy or you're allowing people to you know to utilize 
your energy, your knowledge, your wisdom. Because you, you know, you, you'll find yourself like I listen. It is it is very difficult to um, <clears throat> to be with people who you you support spiritually, financially, emotionally, and then these people you know abandon ship, and then you're left like, damn, I'm fucked up. But then they move forward, and they, you know they seem to be living a lot better off of your energy. That's what happens. So be careful how you how you're you know uh, sharing your energy, sharing sharing your spiritual energy. That's what I got. So let's see, we're going to put some general collective energy here. <clears throat> we're using the um, the Moon Witch Oracle cards for overall energy. What is holding you back? It's in the reverse. Nothing. This is the last quarter moon. That could be significant. So Spirit is saying, um, you may be, you know, what's holding you back? So in the reverse, what's what's motivating you? What's motivating you? Let's get another card here. What's motivating you? Okay. Reclaim your power, Lilith. You've reclaimed your reclaim your power means that you haven't you reclaimed your power. It's in the reverse. It's Lilith. Okay, your name could be Lilith. Lilith was the first woman for Adam. She was the prototype. She just didn't listen to Adam. She wanted to do her own damn thing, so they got rid of the bitch. Okay, <laughs> that's what happened. Um, so what motivates you is that you, you've reclaimed your power. You've already reclaimed your power. You've already reclaimed your power, so you're you're highly motivated, Lilith. You could be a you could you know you could be. I'm just listening. You're the prototype. You are the prototype. Uh, that's what motivates you. You're the prototype. You are who everybody sees as the example, the real McCoy. There's something else I'm trying to say here, um, but the prototype, the example. Oh, the the ah! Oh, I just looked it up the other day. What is it, you guys? Help me out here. Not it's it, okay. So you could be the quintessential. That uh, the quintessential is one thing, but you are the. Hold on, I gotta pause this and I think about it real quick. Hold on. You're the genuine article. There we go. You're the genuine article. You're the prototype. Uh, you are the quintessential example of whatever it is that motivates you we're about to find out what motivates you here make sure you like share subscribe and hit that notification bell select the all options so that you know all of my, your up all of your uploads upload i guess if that's what you want to do all of my uploads upload you feel me <clears throat> i'm trying to figure out what cards to use for this you feel me let's use the shamanic healing Or maybe, or maybe you are the pro, maybe you are the genuine article uh, or, or the prototype of somebody who who has taken back their power. Come through, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like we should do a return to sender for this Archangel Michael. Please just strike down and annihilate with my ancestors in the background. All y'all go wipe out these these murderers, killers. Narmix, sociopaths, uh, people setting up death plots still, people who just can't stay, you know, stay in their lane, people who want revenge because they lost, trying to kill people, people who are mad because they got caught doing something highly illegal and want to kill people because of that. All right, so you you're the prototype. You're the prototype. You are the gen. You are you are who people model themselves to be. What are we talking about? And it's because you're powerful. People like the fact that you reclaimed your power. You're powerful. Yep. You're independent. You have your own mind. Cause that that's what who Lilith was. Okay. Spirit of Lilith. Ooh. We got the Will of Fortune in the reverse. This has put you. So you are in the Will of Fortune in the reverse. Okay. Let's get some more energy. Thank you. We have people working against you. People do not like this. <laughs> you being a, uh, you know, somebody that with, a, with, a, with your own mind, uh, 
finally. Independence. What's this last card? Please let it. The Hermit coming out. <clears throat> so let's talk about this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Okay. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Yeah, 10. You could like, you, you could, somebody could like to shoot craps or shoot dice or board games maybe. Oh, maybe somebody, okay. Somebody has these in their car that this could resonate with. There's, this, this is not just gonna be for one person, okay? This is gonna be for quite a few people. Uh, because this message I'm picking up is, is is meant to empower you to continue to keep uh, to be in your Lilith energy. Okay, we got the chariot, which is in the reverse to stop. We got the, the Knight of Swords in the st uh, stop, and the Page of Swords. These these people do not want anybody looking at you. They are trying to stop anything that has something to do with any social media. Mm -hmm. The chariot stop. The Knight of Swords in reverse stop. Stop. Slow down. The page of swords they don't want nobody looking at you they don't want anybody uh tuning uh, not to well, tuning in you can have a youtube channel you but this is all anything social media they don't want anybody participating in this has put you at the will of fortune okay this is shadow banning energy you feel me damn I mean, who can who can hold up a light bulb balloon, read a book, and, and tightrope across a small gap? You can. Okay, they don't want nobody watching that shit? <laughs> These motherfuckers is weird. Yeah, it puts you in a nine of wands. Some scab did it. A, a knight of cups. Somebody you probably used to date could be. But this is just general hating ass energy. You know, this is a love offer. This is a hateful offer. And this has put you at the nine of wands. Yes, it has been. Yep. Mm hmm you might have you might have you might have gotten this this did put you at the will of fortune because you probably have have felt really kind of discouraged this is a very lackluster discouraging energy queen of wands to the four of pentacles to the nine of swords but see what you did do is that you became very you made very uh, a, this is the queen of swords this is a, somebody highly highly logical um she's about, about truth and clarity and the truth of the matter is that you know you had to release those feelings of the nine of swords you release those feelings and now you're now you're looking passionate passionate looking now you're now you're passionately communicating to the world this is the two of wands which represents a traveler or it could be just something that's going on around the world but this is a world card a traveler you could be traveling you've decided to communicate all around the world about you reclaiming that's how maybe how you reclaimed your power come through holy spirit Your motivation, your motivation is to reclaim your power. Yeah. A pow power that had been taken from you initially. So then you got these three of pentacles bitches. Okay, these mean girls, the squad of mean girls that did not want to fuck with you. They did not like you. And you know what? There's the ace of cups. We got the ace of cups here. Because you they don't, they don't, they they worked against you because you are of love and light. This is what this card says. You, 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 or, 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 or they could be, or they could be mad about your connection to the divine. But this is about you are someone who gives. I, what, what, what did I, I just channeled all this, didn't I? You're somebody that pours into people. Okay, you are because you unconditionally love. These people don't like that for some reason. Oh, because they're haters. The six of Swords, selling away from heartbreak. And the Ten of Swords came out in reverse again. Yeah, but see, you, you, you're because you, because you, collective, because you are of, of uh, unconditional divine love. <clears throat> see, they don't want me saying this shit. Because you offer unconditional agape style love. This, this, you tap into your God source, your God energy. Because this is what you offer. You've reclaimed your power. This is how you reclaim. This is how you reclaimed your power, maintained your power, and reclaimed your power because you love yourself and you love other people, regardless if they come against you. You still, you still, you still walk in the upright. You still have love for people. Now you may not love these people. You may not fuck with these people. You may not even like these people. But you don't want anything bad to happen to these people. 
and that's gotten that's that's gotten you some grace from the most high so you get to so you you're being either this you have been you do you already been you already left these people behind you will be leaving these people behind or you're about to leave these people behind you feel me yep you got the six of swords because this devastated you you probably wanted you know these people worked hard for you to break your heart okay and to and to end your ass too to ten of swords your ass but you know no 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 you get to you get to move away from that shit okay you don't want they damn help no more okay because all yeah they, they, they now i'm picking up the fact now they now they want if you can't beat them join them the four of cups is in the reverse this is when people be overlooking shit. now now you're not being because you reclaimed your power you're powerful people are seeing this now they now they want to come your way okay but you're you're like fuck that you you are you now have because now you have the higher ground now you now you you stayed you stayed you took the higher road you took the high road and all those people down there was all they were trying to do was hit you with those sticks. They were trying to get you off of your high horse. And you said no. You're gonna say no. You're not gonna take the risk. You're not taking the risk because that's that's your justice. You you the, the, you balance out your own skills. You don't want to take the risk towards these people. And that has brought them a tower, whatever tower that is. However they treated you, they're probably getting it back. Um, or the tower could just be that that you are shut off. You're closed off to these people, and you don't want to deal with them. And that is the end of that cycle with these people okay okay so 6 36 on the clock so now you're coming out the hermit is in the reverse um you're coming out because you've already went within because you've already reclaimed your power back so we got that you could be a virgo too that could just represent a virgo you could have virgo heavy heavy aspect in your chart but this is not specific to one person this is about a collective group of people but you are but you are coming out of hermit mode i'm, I'm picking up on you're coming out of hermit mode um, after after reclaiming your power and what else do we see here holy spirit what else do we see for this the hermit please thank you we got justice again justice justice is coming out of hermit mode Scales, you know, you this was you, you're about to. I don't know. This has something to do with justice. Let's see. What's the justice? This is about balancing out the scales. So now that you're coming out of hermit mode, you are ready to balance out the scales because you, you've reclaimed your power. So you're in, you're <laughs> you're passing out justice. <laughs> you're doing what's just. You're you're like fuck that. You're it's very clear. Listen, if it's not going to balance out, if it's not equally yoked, you don't want it, okay? So then there's an emperor energy that it's from your past, and it's in the reverse. And I'm telling you now, you're refusing that offer. You don't want nothing to do with that because you right, you know what it's like to be by yourself. You you, you did this by yourself, and you're going to keep it like that, especially from people from the past. You feel me? That's I just talked about all this shit earlier. This is so funny. Queen of Pentacles. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What about the higher fine in reverse? Yeah. We got a Taurus energy, a Taurus, a karmic Taurus um, that you don't want nothing to do with and they get to watch you shine. And now look at them. <laughs> Fuck. I just talked about this. So you're going to have a number of different energies, family, friends, lovers, or otherwise, people coming towards you. And, the, and your justice is to say no. Back then you didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on me. That's the, that's the energy you're about to be in when you come out of this hermit mode. You got the king of swords here. What about this king of swords? The king of pentacles. Ooh. And the fool in the reverse. Okay, so you have... Two energies in the upright because we already saw we had the higher fine energy which would be in the Taurus energy and then we also have the Emperor which would be the Aries energy in the reverse two energies you're not dealing with they're in a the reverse they're karmic you actually do have a King of Pentacles energy coming towards you and a King and a King of Swords one's a businessman one's injustice spirit is saying take your time do not jump do not jump to conclusion I just heard don't jump to conclusions don't jump to conclusions. Let's let's clarify. Let's see if we can get some information about who. Now these don't even have to be about love, though, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? This could really just be uh, you got 
two people that are maybe coming to help you. Don't jump to conclusions about these people, Spirit said. Yeah, because this is just the beginning of a I just said this is just the beginning of a beautiful friendships. 2014 is significant to whomever this, you know, resonates with a lot of people, but it could resonate with a lot of people or one person. 2014 is highly significant. This is this is just the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Don't jump to conclusions. Don't judge a book by its cover. I just heard. All right, let's see. We got King of Cups in the reverse. What about this King of Cups? Yeah, two of Pentacles. Yeah, you don't want nothing to do with his ass either. <laughs> okay, you 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 don't you're not you're not entertaining and juggling this motherfucker, balancing things out with this person, managing a relationship with this King of Cups energy. So he goes in that pile. So Spirit is saying about this King this King of Pentacles and the King of Swords that uh, you know you should be you know don't jump to conclusions. They see you as somebody very they see you as somebody very 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 fierce, very beautiful, very strong. Highly independent. You're a leader. They see you as a leader. You're a high. You're you're a powerful feminine energy, male or female, and they see they see not and not to say that you know, but they see a gold mine with you. They see you as a blessing, a benefit to get to know you. This is why this is why spirit wants you to not jump to conclusions. You've had people work against you in the past, so you probably need to let your guards down a little bit. Somebody got a damn wolf dog. <laughs> Somebody got a wolf dog, okay? A wolf is highly significant to this download. Somebody likes anime. I just heard somebody go, who doesn't like anime? I don't watch that shit. Something about mountains. Yeah, you're not going to know what to do. You're going to be trapped in your head. You know, you're not going to know what to do, which direction to go in. Um, let's see. Clarify. Thank you. So, yeah, you go being defensive. Your, 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 your defenses are, are is, is, is what is, is blocking your ability to make a good choice right now when this happens for you. Oh, you know, this is future energy I'm picking up. Eight of Pentacles. It's for work. It's for work. The, the work, the work, the work card fell up with the side of the king of king of swords. But it could just be for the both of them. This could be something about work. Spirit saying, let something go. What is what is what is what is what is uh, the collective need to release? What does the collective need to release? People from your past, let go of old friendships that are not that aren't serving your highest good. Because you're about you're about to move into a new cycle of life. You're about to get a new job with one of these people. You're going to be working with one of these people or both of these people. You could probably work, I mean, you can work with both of these people. I said, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. Um, I am, these people are not friends though. I just picked that up. They are not friends. They might even actually be competing for you. There's a, there's an owl in this one. A lot of crows. This person could be, um, well, it's an air sign, duh, Dwayne. Yeah, air sign. Uh, this person could just... This is about... This is somebody that is in law. This could be a lawyer. This could be an investigator. This could be somebody uh, uh, in some type of legal or, or justice. Let's say justice. This is the king of swords. So that's, that's um, Libra energy. So this could be somebody in law. Okay? Uh, and this guy's about business. Strictly business. I don't see why you can't work with the both of them. What doesn't one require the other? You're 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 looking towards the King of Pentacles though. In this in this in this, in, in, if I put you in the middle, that's who she's looking. That's the way she's looking towards. That doesn't mean anything. It could. Yeah. Oh my God. Look at the King of Pentacles is smiling, and this dude's looking like, bitch. What the fuck you doing? <laughs> Let me just see if I can put this up for y'all. All right, let's see if I can do this because this shit's hilarious. These cards be cracking me. They fuck up. Okay, look. <laughs> She's looking over there and he's looking at, he's smiling right here, the King of Pentacles. And the King of Swords is like, bitch, what the fuck you think you're doing? <laughs> They're not friends. They're not friends. Maybe that's why Spirit wants you to use, don't jump to conclusions. Don't make, don't make a leap. 
without getting to know both of them first, I suppose. Yeah. So that you can get an opportunity to see through. There could be some illusions or choices. You could have many choices, but Spirit wants you to take your time. I'm about to get out of this energy. I'm starting to feel a tad bit uncomfortable. <laughs> It's a love triangle shit. But you but you know what though? You reclaimed your power back. And when you reclaim your power back, that does do something for people. You know what I'm saying? Male or female. Motherfucker get sexy as fuck when they when they when they're walking in their power, don't they? So you're gonna be attracting a lot of attention. That's just normal. But you're gonna tr attract a lot of attention. All attention is not good attention. It's like all money's not good money. You feel me? That's why you have to let go of these old friends. These old friends are gonna try to come back to your ass, release them bitches and these exes. Ex-friends, ex-lovers, ex-husbands, ex-wives, anything ex, keep it in the past. That's what I heard, okay? This guy wanted to come out. There's a tower. What's the tower? God gonna put your ass down. Not down like like an animal. But God, you're gonna you're, you're gonna have God's gonna force you to go into some type of uh, rest. You're you're gonna you're, you're gonna have to rest for a while. You've taken back your power. You've overcome these obstacles. You've worked against these people. You you've come out on the other side of this a lot stronger. But spirit spirit, I don't think that you've been resting. I don't think that you actually are through healing. So the tower, you're gonna you may be there. There may be something coming up that's gonna hit you that you're, that's unexpected and it's gonna put your ass down for a while. Okay, you need it, but the way that you're gonna get it, I don't know. Clear out, clear, get clear on what you want. So spirit may be putting you, put, setting you down so that you can be clear about what you want, who you want to be with, what direction you want to go with. Um, yeah, heck, uh, heck, is at the bottom. Change is important. Release the past. You're going to have to do that. Okay. But something, it's, oh my God, I don't like what I'm hearing right now. You already make your masterpiece. But what I'm, what I'm hearing is that something, 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 it's not something good. It's, you're, it's not something good. So you might want to just brace yourself. I don't know if you can, I hate when people say brace yourself because it's like, you know, something, something, it's, it, it's gonna, whatever, oh shit. Okay, so, oh wow. Whatever, find a balance the card says. Wow. Cast a circle. Healthy boundaries are crucial for your growth. Oh, wow. Okay. Find a balance. Inspiration is drawn to motion. And it says shed, let go, make room for greatness. Something, something, something is ending. Or something bad is going to happen. Expect it. I'm, I hate to say that. Something, something, a tower is coming your way and it's unavoidable and, 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 and it's going to force you to make some room for change, for growth, whatever it is. Brace yourself. I got God bumps everywhere, yo. You know, whatever it is, you know, I'm sorry, whatever, whatever's coming your way, just prepare yourself. Just know that at the end of the day, you do have, you do have the, the love of the divine that, that carries you through this situation. You're going to be fine. Okay. Lilith, <laughs> shit. Let me get your moonology card and I'll let you guys go. Damn. Life, life is just one thing after another. But you know, these challenges that we go through prepare us, uh, strengthen us for whatever comes next. You know what I'm saying? It does. And uh, listen, because I'm, I'm sitting, I'm sitting around here thinking. Now I've been thinking like, so waiting on the knock at the door. Wait, none, you know, it's gonna be a knock because ain't nobody got my damn phone number. Okay, it's gonna have to probably be a knock at the door from somebody in law enforcement to tell me that somebody has died or something bad is horribly. Hor I'm just, I, I just, I'm bracing myself for a lot of fucked up news. You feel me? And so, my best advice to you is to just take it all in stride. You know, um, I don't know, I can't, I can't say because it ain't happened to me yet. You know. I can just about imagine, you know, I've, I've been telling myself, um, like going through all these things, like, you know, what's the, I, I've gone over every single different scenario about what could possibly be wrong or go wrong. Cause intuitively I'm picking up on things, but can you really prepare yourself for, uh, to be hit with a ton of bricks, hit with a ton, hit by, to get hit by a ton of bricks. If you don't see it coming, your ass is finna get knocked the fuck out. 
Sometimes things happen to make room for new things. That's what I got, okay? Unlimited possibilities you got in your future. Hi, are you okay with this? Because I mean, I don't know how. To, I mean, it's good to get read. Yikes. Good, but yikes, but then good. It's like a, it's a compliment sandwich. You start with something good. Then you say something fucked up about somebody. But then you start, then you end it with something good. Compliment sandwich. I'm closing out this reading. I'm your Uncle 79, the spiritual savage. Remember, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. It's always love and light around this bitch. Have a good night. Brace, you know, just take it easy. Don't stress yourself out. You cannot be stressed out about things you cannot change. That's the one thing I do know, okay? So just try to meditate on some acceptance. Talk to your ancestors, spear guides. Talk to God. And uh, be careful. I love you. Deuces. Savage.